Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to do the event for the list box on a double left click. So what should happen is if we run our application and if we drop a file in, so what should happen is when we double click on this, um, the file path, what should happen is it should display the data frame in the data table, the tree view widget that we have. Okay. So let's begin to do that. So we're going to go to display file. And what's going to happen is the event, so the file underscore name is going to be equal to self dot file names list box dot get self dot file names list box dot curse selection. So what that's going to do is it's going to get the value of the selection of the cursor selection. So whatever the user has selected, it's going to get that um, file name. And then the path or the file path is going to be equal to self dot path underscore map. And the uh, key is the file underscore name. So remember, we use the path map here where we have, we map the um, file name. So like the file name here to the actual full path of this file um, name. So this will give us the path. And now what we can do with that path is we can create a data frame from it. So df equals pd pandas dot read underscore CSV and the path. Okay. And then self dot data table Remember, we created a set underscore data table method, which takes in the data frame. So the data frame for this method is equal to df. So if we scroll up, we created it here. So what that's going to do is it's going to um, store the reference of that data frame in this attribute. So store data frame is going to equal to the data frame that we've um, just created. And then it's going to draw that data frame into this widget. So now if we run, okay. So now we're going to drop in our uh, CSVs. Okay, so now if we double click, there we go. It's going to display it into our um, tree view or our data table. I'm just gonna drop two more and it should just change all of them as you can see. As you can see, it's very fast, a lot faster than the file dialog, dialog um, method. Okay, cool. So in the next video, we're going to implement the search function so that we can search um, through these CSV files, search and filter out information. So see you in the next video.